All right. So let's pop this baby open. You want to take a guess as to what this might be? We've actually talked about it before. I'll bet you you got those <clears> little, <throat> imi little miniatures from somebody. Miniatures from somebody. Somebody. I forget who it was. From who? Miniature guy. No, not uh, not mini prints. Okay. Sorry. Nope. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. I know I am. Oh, yeah, that, that's better. You're getting excited. It's like Christmas. Put the knife away. Thank you. Okay. So now we gotta be very careful opening this, cause whatever it is, even if it's not miniature, is very gentle. So why don't you start pulling on those uh on that packaging? Just start you, pulling you it trust out. Trust me. Oh dear. Just start pulling. Oh, did it did it just fall apart? It's just vaporized in there. Wait a minute, there's something here. Oh, there's something in there? It is those little miniature guys. <gasps> be careful. That? What is that? Something's like, I don't have my glasses. Oh, you broke it. Did not. You did, I just watched you break it. It's a packaging thing. It's a packaging thing. I think you broke it. What? All right, keep pulling, there's more in what there. What the heck, I'm trying to figure out what that is first. Those are signs, barrels, and uh, blockades. Oh, okay, that's a sign. Oh, there's, <clears> hold <throat> it. there's probably another one in here. Probably. Yeah, yep, there it is. There's another oh, one. that's just. You guys see it? I can't see it on this side. We don't see it. All right, let's see keep it. moving. Let's keep it. moving. Let's, I'm looking to see if there's stuff in here. We gotta keep moving. We got, we're on a time crunch. We're on a time crunch. Okay, fifteen we'll minutes is our goal. Out. Rip it all out. Throw it across the thing. Okay, got another thing right here. All right, boom. Oh hell! Look at that. I didn't say that. Sorry. Awful. Oh, more. Awful. Oh hey, cool. That oh, is that's outstanding. Okay, let's get this stuff, put it back the in The mini here. print guy. This is not mini prints. Who is this? Exquisite Discoveries. Exquisite Discoveries? I've got a whole bunch of stuff from this guy. He makes some really cool 3D oh, prints. Awesome. They're all clear, so when you're um, when you're uh, painting it, all you have to do is tape the windows and you have clear windows. Awesome piece. So does this, does this look familiar to something I, I, sh I, I shared with you before? As in what? As in um, that road crew, you said that'd be really cool to have. Um, no, you didn't give me a road crew. No, we talked about it. Oh, okay. I'm like, God, you think, I'm thinking you, you said you gave me something. Like, no, I'm, I'm ah, getting you something. Awesome. You said that it would be so cool to have as a road crew. Yeah. So I got you a road crew. This is going to be everything you need to repave your roads on your what model railroad. Yeah. So this is all the vehicles, the pavers, there's your bobcat. You don't even have to use the bobcat on the road crew. Here's another dump truck. There you go, look at that guy. Oh, look at that. Kind of, there's some heft to it too. Yeah, there is. That's, that and is. these are pretty clean. Um, normally when I get 3D prints, um, there's a lot of sprues that cut off from this printer. Who is this? Printer. Yeah. This is Exquisite Discoveries. Exquisite Oh, here you go. You're going to love this guy. Look at that. There's your... Oh, past awesome. Look at this, would you? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. So what's That's interesting handy. is how it, how it, first of all, is how much room there is after I packed all that stuff in there. All that foam. Yeah. And somehow there is room for all that in there. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh. <clears throat> so we got our road crew here. Um, here's a piece of paper. Um, this comes with every... Uh, Exquisite prints or exquisite discoveries print and uh, Basically it says thank you for your purchase if we missed any items or if anything arrives damaged Please let us know and we'll get a new one sent out ASAP as stated in our listings You may help you may end up with one With some small supports on your models try to keep costs low as possible We don't spend a lot of time removing every single support as it would increase the time to process the models And we would have to charge more for them the supports can easily be removed with a small tweezers, side cutters, or a hobby knife. I also try to send an extra model with most pur purchases as a thank you for your support. This can be used to test your techniques before you paint your ordered models. All models are printed in a water washable resin. Any white residue or sticky spots can easily be wiped away with a wet cloth or a little bit of alcohol. The slightly tacky nature of the prints does not affect pr painting. Do not soak in water or they will break down. Over time, your models will become even more clear as the interior resins continue to cure. We recommend priming with a hobby primer or use a good masking tape um, cut to fit out the windows that retain the clear glass look of most of the windows. A final coat of clear gloss will leave them looking like the uh, looking the most like glass. 
Yeah, he's got the thing open. You could put your ballast That's, right in there. That is just, I'm sorry. That is just You could take off. some awesome. ultra fine obsidian in there, and it would look like it's pouring asphalt. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like it's dumping right into this guy. So you just load that up with some obsidian. Boom. Yeah. Shakalaka. Making a fresh road. All right. Uh, once primed, use your choice of acrylic or hobby paints. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We are just a small one-person um, business trying to support the hobby by making a budget option for people who don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money to populate our layouts. We are constantly adding new models and open to suggestions for new products. I occasionally do custom uh, models, so if there's a dream vehicle or something you need on the layout, feel free to ask. Thank you again for your purchase and support of our small Made in America business. All the best. Adam Liston, Exquisite Discoveries. So I've probably got, um, besides this, I've probably already got like 20 models from this guy. And while they're not perfect, they are excellent. They're excellent stand-in models um, just to help populate your layout for a background scene. I don't know that um, without some extra effort that these would be great foreground models. Now, because I haven't painted any yet, I haven't gotten there, um, I'm not saying that they wouldn't make great foreground models. But um, So you've got an extra scraper. You've got a couple of automobiles here. Um, I didn't order these, so these, uh, these are free. These, came, these are uh, this and the pickup and the two cars just came with it. Um, you can see there's an extra piece of resin on the back that doesn't even belong with this same resin. It's just sticky. Just stuck on there. Alright, yeah. so. It's easy stuff to take care of. Yep, so uh, let's reposition the camera and take a closer look. How's that sound? Uh, this stuff's dynamite. Alright, yeah. Take a look. I, I just totally didn't even remember I had that stuff. <laughs> totally, Naturally. Totally didn't even remember I had that stuff. Okay. All right, so let's review these guys. I'm not going to use the stool. We're going to be leaving those. All right, well. All right, so these are some different models we got from Exquisite Discoveries. Obviously, there's some trimming to do on some of them. But for the most part, they look like they've been cut out pretty well. Um, I'm not sure uh, what to call the like whiteness that's in there other than maybe like a void in the uh, resin. But these, these, I think these came out pretty good. This will be a nice stand-in. Um, buying this stuff in die cast, if you can get it, uh, it, it would, this would probably be 30, 40 bucks right here could for be, this guy. Could be expensive. And I, and I think the set, which did not include this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, was like 50 bucks. 50 or 60 bucks for these, all this right here. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a bang and deal. I mean, just... Just to have this right here, like just these guys, yeah, I could would see, be huge. I could see that it's like 30, 30 bucks yeah. real fast, real fast. Now I will say that this wheel is basically half missing. Well, he has a flat. No he's pays. got a, he's got a flat. He's got a heck of a flat. Yeah. Um, but if you just put that side away from the fascia, um, so it's behind the scene, you'll be fine. But uh, this is this is pretty slick. So you got two graders here. Um, I think they only came with one, so one of these is probably an extra. Um, what I noticed on mine, um, on some prints I got, was if there was a flaw with one of them, he'd send you a second one, and then that way you could practice on it. Um, but the, both these guys look pretty good. I'd say this one maybe is a little bit rougher. And you can see some parts on here warped. You could probably just bend that back into shape, I suppose. Um, or, you know, some weathering, you know, stuff gets beat up. But what's really cool is you get this sign here. For the arrows, a uh, little road sign, that's kind of neat. That one's got to get completely cut out yet. Um, I think I've got all of my stuff cut out. I just need to get it uh, primed and painted. I haven't painted any 3D models yet. That's coming soon. But uh, what, what are your thoughts on this? Initial thoughts taken out of the box. Out of the box? Actually, you know, if a guy doesn't mind uh, doing a little bit of cleanup work, um, painting, um, that's getting to be kind of a thing anymore. Um, too many guys in, in a hobby, and they want to call it a hobby anymore, don't, don't do anything. They just open up a box, throw it on their layout, and say, look what I'm modeling. Uh, the modeling was actually a little bit of an art form if the painting was involved, the weathering was involved. You just don't see guys doing that anymore. And this, this throws you right back into what the hobby, its roots, really was. Um, you got some interesting pieces. If it needed to be worked on a little bit, Hey, so be it. Guys did it. 
ingenuity was was the mainstay of the hobby. Uh, so I I welcome this. I really do because if you got your airbrush out, you got a little talent, and you know just trying to do it, and you don't have to be talented. You don't have to have anything special. Yeah. You know you don't have to have a degree in art. You know it's it's amazing what you can do. This would be a good challenge for anybody to to uh, really accomplish something they'd be proud of. Now I think what, like I think this one for the level of detail probably turned out the best. You got to trim some of these uh, like sprues off um, yep. these supports. Yep. But I think with a level of quality like this, you could print HO scale Mao equipment like all the rail like the uh, tie pullers and everything. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's just static, you're not going to have it running around your layout. Right. Um, like, like the like you were saying, talking about that one wheel like that. Yeah. This is all static display. I mean, you never ever see. Um, you know, if, if it, where that wheel is kind of rolled like that, if you had this up next to a dirt pile or up to a rock pile, yeah. it's now buried. Again, your imagination has to come in somewhere a little. Um, that's an easy fix. It's not an end all. You know, some guys, if it's not absolutely perfect, it's the end all deal. I'm not doing it. Well, modeling requires a little ingenuity. Yes, and, and a lot of trial and error. You can. Yep. We can go on about that all day. Yes. Um, but I think as far as value goes, I think this is an excellent value. I mean, absolutely. For the dollar, absolutely. Because uh, if you're buying one of these from Walters, that's what, 15 bucks now? 15, 20 bucks for a truck, a plastic yeah, truck? trucks are getting no idea, It's got wheels and stuff on it. I think this was six bucks. If you were to just go on his site and buy this, it was yeah. like five or six bucks. Um, so excellent value. And then this Bobcat, you don't see these in HO scale in very good detail anyway. So I mean, to have it 3D printed, you've got... All the uh, lines and stuff for the radiator, uh, I mean, the tire tread and everything is on there. You just got to take out some of the supports off. It's got a radio. It's even got a little beacon. Now, if you wanted to for that beacon, we have LEDs. You have LEDs that small um, yep. through, through Superior Scenics. You could just pop a hole right there, cut that off, stick a be beacon in there, and you'd be set. You, you, could, you could do that. Right. Absolutely. Fact, we'll just take those off just like that. But... <laughs> <laughs> Loading the truck already, bye gum. In fact, you could probably, with some ingenuity and some time and patience and, and some experience, I'd probably get a handful of these to test, you could probably light this up. Oh, sure, why not? I mean, those are tiny. You could just, I mean, the wires would be kind of uh, hard to hide, but you could put LEDs on this guy. I think this would be really cool to have. In fact, I saw a bunch of road work on my way here today on 59. But, um... Uh, I think particularly this, this one turned out especially nice. And the Bobcat and this guy, I would say these, in fact, the steamroller is pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say these are the sharpest models out of the bunch. And actually, this dump truck is pretty nice that's, too. That's I'm not going to complain sweet. about that. That's sweet. Um, but I, I've talked to Exquisite Discoveries online. Um, uh, through email and whatnot, and I had a few models that came that were warped, and it, it's been hot. Mm -hmm. It's been hot this summer in Wisconsin, and it's always hot down south. And so we, we think a couple of the models may have warped from sitting on my porch all day. I picked these up, boom, as soon as I, the mailman was there. I was actually pulling out of the driveway to come here, and he was pulling out. Um, so it worked out pretty good. They never got hot. And I think that was one of my issues was it was on the porch in direct sunlight for several hours before I got it. Um, so I, I, maybe that's one of the issues uh, why I got some warped stuff because none of this really looks warped at all. This all looks pretty flawless. Um, but I'm excited to see what you do with these. Because, oh yes, they are yours. Wow, okay. All right, so with that said, um, I'd say Exquisite Discoveries is well worth the money and definitely worth checking out. It's a few bucks to grab a couple of things to practice and play with. Um, definitely with one of my three, favorite 3D printing companies, along with Mini Prints out of Canada, uh, Bernard Helen. He's got some really, really good stuff. Um, in fact, this week I, I've painted my first colds. I got those buttoned up. I, I know what I want to do now for those going forward. And I think when I get home today, I'm probably going to try painting a few 3D things. I've got a couple of trailers and whatnot I want to get done. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm really excited. I think this is going to be fun. Well, so you. you've got some stuff to paint. I've got some stuff to paint. And we both have stuff to put on your layout. Got things to do. I am seeing this stuff. I am very excited at the future of 3D printing what it's going to bring for the hobby. 
um, it's going to take us to a new level, which I'm really, really enthused to, to see. Well, I think this is going to become the new uh, craftsman kit kind of deal. You don't see a lot of craftsman kits anymore, and this is going to be something where you can design your own stuff. Um, there's a couple of people on Facebook who do an amazing job of designing and building rail cars 3D printed to fill out their fleet because they can't buy what they want ready to run instead of, you know, oh, well, I'll deal with this or I'll deal with that and having stand-in models, which is what many of us have done for years for stuff we can't get our hands on. Now we don't have to. I mean, they're doing some amazing stuff. In fact, there's another 3D printer out there I want to get some stuff from and unbox with you because I think it's going to be really sharp. So... Um, otherwise, this has been really cool. Uh, again, this is Exquisite Models. Just a quick little unboxing here. And uh, from Superior Scenics and Sean's Trains, we hope you guys have a great day. Absolutely. You too.